What's up, y'all? It's Bianca Ariana here, and I'm back again with another video for you guys today. And I feel like I haven't, um, y'all ain't seen me really sit down in a minute. Like, I ain't did no really sit down video in my beauty room in a little minute. But I'm back today with another video, you guys. We gonna be doing like a spicy chit chat today. I have my wine here, y'all. Y'all didn't know I drink wine, but if y'all watch my vlogs and y'all really watch me, y'all know I drink wine and I love me some wine. And if y'all wanna know what kind of wine I drink, I drink De La Rosa. Some people probably like, oh, that's that baby wine, but I love it. Like I love all the flavors, it's so good to me. But if y'all wanna put me on some more wines to drink, y'all can most definitely do that. We gonna do like a spicy chit chat today, like a Q&A a stuff like that so if you guys are ready to see that make sure you guys like comment and subscribe make sure y'all keep watching and also turn on that bell for post notifications so you can be notified every time i post a video because y'all want to see more of me not less than me that's just one period i ain't said that in so long I ain't said that in so long y'all y'all want to see more of me not less than me that's one period the first um thing that i was asked was how do you maintain a healthy relationship i feel like with maintaining a healthy relationship you have to communicate you guys like that's one of the biggest biggest things to do in a relationship because y'all can have so many disagreements with a lot of things and if y'all don't communicate and actually listen to each other's opinions or what they gotta say and take it in and actually like you know change some things about it or whatever you know nothing won't change like y'all really have to communicate communication is big make sure you're always there for your significant other because if you're not there for them they're gonna feel like they alone especially if they already feeling like they're alone physically spiritually emotionally being there for um your significant other someone said <laughs> what's your favorite <laughs> what's your favorite position during sex so i really don't have well i do have i don't want to say it <laughs> I'm gonna just say from the side. I like it from the side, you hear me? Like, sometimes it can be from the back as well. Someone said, how many boyfriends have you had? I had a boyfriend in ninth grade. I had a boyfriend in 10th grade. And then my boyfriend that I have now. So I only had three boyfriends ever. But the first two I don't consider boy. I mean, the only one I really consider a boyfriend was, is the dude I'm dating now. And then the one I had in 10th grade. I mean, but the first one, I don't know what the fuck that was. I think that was just a trial run or I don't know. But that was not a boyfriend. Someone said, have you ever licked your boyfriend's feet? Um, no, I'm not a feet licker. I, I don't do nothing like that, y'all. So, nah, I've never done that. I barely even like feet. <laughs> Someone said, what age did you have your first kiss? I don't remember what age I had my first kiss. It probably was like... It probably was really young. I really don't know. It probably was like early teens, like probably 13, I don't know. Someone said, what age did you lose your virginity? I don't know if I really wanna say the age because I was young, dumb, and it's like I knew better, but I kinda wanted to do it cause I liked, this, liked the person or whatever. I mean, it was somebody that I was dating, but I was still young and dumb, you feel me? So I don't wanna say the age, but I will say the grade I was in and then y'all just put two and two together. But I was in, I was in ninth grade. I'm gonna be real with y'all. I was in ninth grade, but I was young and dumb and stuff like that. The only people that know, the only people that really know who I lost my virginity to, what age, all that is my brother and my boyfriend. Mostly my brother, he was the first one to really know. I think my sister know too, but mostly my brother, he was the first one to know. He knew for years, and I didn't ever tell him. I mean, I didn't ever tell nobody, so. Someone said, what's something you do that's entertaining, but others may think it's crazy if you told them? I gotta think about this stuff. Like, I really should have thought about some of this stuff before I actually <laughs> made the video, because I don't really know. Like, what's something entertaining that I do that others might think is crazy? I know one thing that I do that my boyfriend, he'd probably be like, girl. There's a couple things that I do that probably people think crazy, but I mean, I could say that he thinks it's crazy. Sometimes I really have, like, OCD. Like, I get so irritated when I see a lot of stuff just just piled up or I just see dirty shit like I really have OCD at times and he probably be like girl like like the way I move when I'm like when I see some shit that's like bothering me that's like dirty I just get so irritated and frustrated like he probably be like oh you you be acting like a clean freak and shit like that but I really am like I really be having OCD sometimes and it didn't really like happen like that until I moved to my own spot like I was already clean but moving to your own place is like you gotta look presentable every time like it don't matter if somebody's coming over it don't matter like you have to make sure it smells good looks good everything like I'm really big on that I really I'm really big on everything looking perfect like I'm I'm like a perfectionist sometimes and it's like girl I don't know I 
don't know why I'm so like that. Like he always tell me like, you want to be perfect so bad. You want to be perfect when you're not perfect. You just, you know, it's part of life. Like you mess up sometimes, but it's like, hell no, I want to be perfect. Like I don't want, I don't want to have no mistakes and then like that. So that's people probably thinking like that. I mean, that, I mean, that's something that's like, you know, crazy. I mean, everybody probably want to be perfect or they, you know, I don't want to be perfect, but everybody like everything they do, you want to make sure it's perfect or it looks good or you don't really want to mess up with a lot of things and stuff. So. I mean, I guess that's one thing that people could say is, you know, crazy to them. But I said, um, what is, what, what's your happiest moment? One of my happiest moments was moving into my first place. Like, y'all don't understand how, y'all, I was so excited moving because and I think that was one of my biggest accomplishments this year. Like, it was such a life-changing experience. And I'm not gonna lie, it was, I was so excited you guys like i felt so i just felt so excited i felt so happy um i didn't i didn't need nobody's help to do it i didn't tell nobody and the thing about it is that made it so exciting is i kept it to myself like that was one of the things that like, i literally moved in silence with the whole situation like the whole thing i literally moved in silence i didn't tell nobody when i did this i didn't tell nobody when i did that the only thing I told, like, anybody, like, the only people, I mean, I probably told my brother because that's, like, my best friend, you feel me? The only time I really said something about it is when I was, like, moving out, like, literally, like, the day before, I think, or, like, the week before. Okay, I moved this day. Like, it was literally something like that. Like, nobody really knew I was moving until I actually said I was moving. Like, oh, this is my moving day. Y'all probably, people probably, like, like, my parents and something like that, they probably speculated, like, oh, she gonna be moving out soon. Like, you know, she probably planning on moving out. Because I wasn't at home. I was literally staying with my boyfriend for, like, a month. Like, I was literally, it went from me going over there probably, like, one day out of the week to spend a night or something like that to me just always over there like every day spend a night over there stuff like that until leading up to me like okay finally tell my parents like okay i'm moving out this day type shit like i already you know signed my lease all that stuff like that so yeah i that was one of my happiest moments another happy moment that um another happy moment is reaching 1k on youtube i mean i mean that's not a lot but that was something big for me because i've been working on doing that for like a year and a half i've been working on that for so long and that was a big moment because it was like dang like i really made it to 1k when i really thought i didn't because it took so long like it, it took forever you guys it took so long and even though i was working hard it still took a long time another thing that was my happiest moment was just buying my new car that i just bought i was so excited because um, that's one of my goals that i wanted to accomplish in 2021 like i told myself i'm going to buy a new car like a car that i actually want I mean, a Honda, that's one of my dream cars. Like, okay, it's just a Honda, something like that. But I've always wanted a 2021 Honda. Like, I've been saying that since I bought my Ford Focus. Ever since I had bought my Ford Focus, I was like, my next car is going to be a Honda, 2021 Honda. Like, whatever it was, it was going to be a 2021 Honda. Like, 2021, it was not going to be nothing a year under that. No, I've always said I wanted a 2021 Honda. I mean, I didn't get the color that I dreamed about having, but... I still got the car, you feel me? And the, and the color is beautiful, I don't care. I've always wanted a black one, but when I was able to check that off of my notes, like I literally write all my goals down that I need to accomplish. And the first one was getting an apartment, check that off. A couple of accomplishments down was buying my new car and I checked that off and I was so fucking excited. I was so excited, like that was, that was big y'all, that was so big. Like especially when I had buy me a 2021 Honda on there and I checked that off, that was big y'all. So that was three of my happiest moments this year. It's, more, it's still more to come, but those are my three happiest moments from this year and I'm really, really excited. I'm so blessed. Someone said, what's something you regret in life? I don't regret nothing in life, y'all. Like, I feel like everything happens for a reason and everything is a lesson learned. Like, everything is everything that happens to me, even if it's good or bad, it's always a lesson that I learned. I'll, you know, it's always a lesson that I learned from it. It's a lot of things that I've done that I wish I kind of just was like, nah, I shouldn't have did that. Someone said, one goal you want to meet before the year is over. The goal I want to reach, I can't really, I don't know if I want to tell y'all the goal I want to reach by the end of the year, you feel me? <laughs> the goal I want to reach before the year is over is I want to be more successful. This is just one of my goals. I want to be more successful on my YouTube. Like, I'm gonna just keep it strictly for YouTube because everything else gonna be a surprise for me. I want to be more successful, more consistent, 
more focused on my youtube that's one of my goals i want met by the end of the year like i want to have been more successful more focused more consistent on my youtube that's one of my goals my that's one of my biggest goals as of right now but i have more than more than about but I, that's the only one i really kind of want to share with you guys because you know this is my youtube this is my platform so i want to be more consistent more focused more everything for my youtube channel by the end of the year by the end of the year i i, I need my numbers to be up there up there y'all like that's where i want my numbers to be at. so the next question is what's an insecurity of yours one of my insecurities used to be my eyes because of the fact that i um i used to always wear glasses y'all know i still wear my glasses here and there that's when i don't have my contacts in or like if i don't feel like putting them in one of my insecurities was my eyes because of the fact that people used to always tell me i look like a certain animal as i was like growing up and stuff like that it led all the way up to high school it was really 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 hard for me to want to show my eyes like i've been wearing contacts for years y'all like i've been wearing contacts since i was able to put them in but i wouldn't wear them because of the fact that people used to always tell me oh you look like this you look like this so i would always hide my eyes behind my glasses so you won't really tell what people say i look like and all that but as i got older like it took me it took my glasses to actually break you guys for me to start wearing my contacts and stuff like that when i was looking back at my snapchat pictures and stuff like that i was like girl i look so pretty without my glasses and i was just looking like them glasses were so ugly maybe it was the glasses that was ugly but when i look at my face back then y'all i was so pretty and your girl is pretty now period i really hate my glasses now i just don't be feeling like putting my contacts in when i be off and stuff like that if i'm going if i'm stepping out somewhere just know my eyes gonna show you're gonna see my face you're gonna see my full face like period um someone said have you ever cheated no i've never cheated on nobody the reason why is because i wouldn't want something like that done to me so why would i do that to somebody else I don't want to get cheated on. She being cheated on, or you know, somebody doing some foul shit to you hurts really bad. Cause I've been through, it, been through it. I wouldn't want to put nobody else through that pain. Like if I want to do something like that, just step out of the relationship, leave the relationship. Don't just sit there and cheat on somebody, cause that hurts just as much as a breakup yeah that was my last question you guys i hope y'all enjoyed this q and a um, i don't want to answer my last question because that's just not what i'm about to do but uh yeah if y'all enjoyed this q and a this spicy q and a this little chat you feel me that we just had make sure y'all give it a thumbs up comment and subscribe if y'all want a q and not a q and a if y'all want a story time about how i lost my virginity and all that make sure y'all let me know in the comments or whatever and yeah it's bianca ariana here and i'm tuning out you guys i love y'all so much I love it. I ain't even finished my wine. I was doing more talking to than fucking drinking, y'all. Like, what the heck? Follow my Instagram at Bianca Ariana. It's gonna be in the description box below. Make sure y'all subscribe and all that. Bye, y'all. I'm talking way too much, y'all. Bye.